best things in life are free. The second best things in life are simple. Simpler Trading's free room is both free and simple. Check out Simpler Stream Week from June 21st to the 23rd for live market analysis right here on YouTube. Good evening, everyone. This is Henry, and as we get into the review that we'll apply for Thursday, it's so a couple of things to look at. I'm gonna give you three tickers that we can kind of tie in together and take into Thursday. And the first of which is Bitcoin. So, you know, Bitcoin trading over the weekend kind of kicked off the volatility, right? And then when we get into Monday, this bar was echoed in almost every equity as they just, you know, sell off to start the week, continuation on Tuesday. And then for this particular product, trying to find support at the psychological value of 20,000. So if Bitcoin is what began all the selling, it might make sense to keep an eye on this for Thursday and Friday. And if you see that Bitcoin's having a nice substantial rebound, well then it may give us reason to focus on bullish equity picks. I wanna take that from the daily chart of Bitcoin and move over into the daily chart of the spiders. This is a fascinating chart to look at where you can see a couple of things. We begin by looking at this swing high against this swing low and that swing projected into its 1272 extension, that level at 416.19. You can see how it begins to create a bit of a tabletop, right? Or just something that, you know, <clears throat> having spent a couple of weeks in Oregon recently, there was a tabletop mountain there, and that's just what it reminds me of, right? Because it looks so identical to it, um, you know, really flattening out at the extension, that builds up resistance, and then gives you a pretty significant break. Okay, if you can see that pattern in relationship to the extension, and we're working with the idea that moves tend to terminate at extensions of previous swings, we'll then look at, let's draw it fresh, just because it, it is kind of fun to look at, but we're gonna take the exact same way of thinking and then run that from this low that was made on 520. So swing low up into this swing high and look at the precision of that 1272 extension. So 370.50 versus the actual low that was made at 59. And it's another way of thinking that I'm not, you know, I would never come into this at this moment and tell you, hey, we're in a bull market. No, but are we in a spot where we could bounce off an extension? That is one path that we could see these markets take. So you could either trade it through Bitcoin, you could trade it through the spiders, look for a bounce up into something like 389, or last, and a little bit of a kind of off the beaten path a little bit, but in Zoom, right? And the thing about Zoom here, you know, I, I know that it may not be the most popular name, but it's starting to show a better relationship to its eight and 21 moving averages. Right? For so long, we've just seen that relationship maintain the bearish approach to it. But here, you can see where those moving averages begin to shift. You can see that on a day when the markets were, you know, saw some pretty good volatility and some steep selling, Zoom was having none of it, right? It remained resilient. And then really the setup comes in off of the 195 minute chart. I like using that for its even division into the 390 minute cash session but you can see where the momentum of the squeeze is beginning to shift. And just like it did back in here, you know, I'm looking for a similar kind of movement and I would try to trade it also into its extensions. So just taking the previous swing high off of the time frame that I'm trading, running it down into that low and thinking that you have four targets in here. It depends on how much you like scaling out, but if you really do enjoy scaling out, I would give you four targets. The first of which is the old high, and then the other three that are extensions of that swing, ideally seeing a you know somewhat accelerated move into those targets on the back of the squeeze. So I hope that's helpful, gives you some trades to chew on for Thursday and Friday, and we'll see how they play out in the next free video. Hey traders, this is Henry with simplertrading.com. I wanted to thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful. And if so, be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons down below. If you would like to also see me putting these ideas into action and trading my own account live in front of you, be sure to sign up at simplertrading.com and I hope to see you in the chat room sometime soon.